Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about polynomial functions and their characteristics. A polynomial function is a function that has an exponent, which could be 1, 2, 3, 4, and on, that is a positive integer exponent. For example, x squared plus 3x minus 1. A quadratic function is one of the polynomial functions. This simplest polynomial function that you have seen before is a linear function. It has an integer exponent of 1. It's non-negative, so this function qualifies for being a polynomial function. The degree of the polynomial function is determined by looking at the term with the highest exponent. In this case, we see that the highest exponent is 3. Therefore, the degree of this polynomial function is 3. The degree matches the maximum possible number of x-intercepts that the function has. For example, this function could have up to and including 3 x-intercepts. The number of turns the function has is 1 less than the degree of the function. And if I were to sketch this function, then it means that this function would have three x-intercepts maximum, but it could have less, and it has two turns. So it could look something like that. So say this is my x-intercept one, two, and three, and it has two turns, one local maximum, one local minimum. Consider the following two functions. The first function f of x is a cubic function, polynomial function of the third degree. When the coefficient of a, an odd degree function is positive, then the function follows the end behavior of the linear function. So it goes from quadrant 3 to quadrant one, just like a linear function that has a positive slope. So this cubic function will follow the same pattern. It will start in quadrant three and it will end in quadrant one. For an even degree function like g of x, it's the quartic function or the function of degree four. Um, it follows the end behavior of a parabola with a positive leading coefficient. In this case, the function will be going from quadrant two to quadrant one, just like a parabola that opens up. This function has degree four, so it has maximum of four x-intercepts and three turns. So it could look something like this. When we have an odd degree function, like the first one, f of x equals x, negative x to the power of 5. It's a quintic function, but it has a leading coefficient that is negative 1. Then the end behavior of such function will follow the end behavior of a linear function with a negative slope. So the function will extend from quadrant 2 to quadrant 4. Therefore, it will start in quadrant 2. It will have four turns and it will land in quadrant four. One, two, three, four, maximum of five x-intercepts and the end behavior follows the end behavior of the linear function with a negative slope. When the leading coefficient of an even degree function is negative, then the function follows the end behavior of a parabola that opens down. It starts in quadrant three and ends in quadrant four. So in this case, we'll have a maximum of four x-intercepts and three turns. So the function could look something like this. Uh, three turns, four x-intercepts, and it starts in quadrant three, ends in quadrant four. A polynomial function can be given in a factored form. In a factored form, the factors represent x-intercepts or roots. The degree of each factor 
tells you how many times the root repeats. So in the function f of x equals 2x minus 1 squared times x minus 3, x minus 1 has order 2. It's root of order 2. The function has three x-intercepts, 2x equals 1 and 1x equals 3. Therefore, it is a cubic function. If we were to sketch this function, it opens up, it follows the end behavior of a linear function with a positive slope, since it's an odd degree function, pubic, right? And it has an x-intercept of 1 that repeats twice and an x-intercept of 3 that repeats once. When the function x-intercept repeats twice, we see a bounce. So the graph will reach the x-axis and will bounce off of it. And then it will continue on to the next x-intercept. Next, when we have a function and the degree of the root is an odd degree, then the function cuts through the x-axis, through the root. So in this case, we have three roots of x equals 1, which means the x equals 1 is order 3 root. And x equals 2 is another 1. So four roots in total, quartic function, and it's negative. So it follows the end behavior of a parabola that opens down. It's going to go from quadrant 3 to quadrant 4. So let's uh, label our roots. The first one is 1. The second one is 2. So the function goes through 1. It kind of models like a cubic function behavior here and then continues down to the other uh, quadrant. Now let's talk about symmetry. Symmetry can be even and odd, and it's not the same thing as the degree. The degree of the function can also be even and odd, but symmetry is something else. In order to check if the symmetry is even, odd, or neither, when it's a mix and it cannot be determined specifically, we need to test f of negative x in the function, or g of negative x for the second one. And let's see what happens. If I try to sub in negative x into the f of x function, then I will see that all the terms within the function will change their sign to the opposite. This was positive, this was negative, and now this becomes negative, and this becomes positive. When every single term in the function equation changes the sign to the opposite, once you sub in negative x, it's an odd symmetry. Next, let's test the g of x. If I try to sub in negative x into this equation and then minus 1, then we get still 4x squared minus 1. Both terms remained exactly the same as they were originally. So if you sub in negative x into the equation of the function and signs of each term do not change, then this is an even symmetry. If one term changes the sign and the other term does not change the sign within the same equation, then the symmetry is neither odd nor even.